Hiya. So we're in a mild state of panic here. And this, uh, this is also the first time I've played in uh, a while. Well, that's not true. I played this morning and I played last night, but that was just for testing purposes to figure out how certain things uh, worked. Uh, because I was getting some strange results on some things that I thought worked a certain way, but didn't work a certain way. Uh, very first thing we're going to do this morning, well, this afternoon in real life, this morning in the game, is kill my power. Now, the reason that I'm doing that uh, is because I didn't know that waste heat was modeled in the game. So everything in the game, all the uh, appliances and everything, all generate waste heat. And unfortunately, the biggest culprit is this guy. Uh, the uh, area power controller not only has its own voltage that it operates at, um, it also uses a wattage to uh, power and quote-unquote warm the battery and also to supply the, all the rest of the equipment. Because I was wondering why this uh, air, airlock was getting so heat, uh, so heat, so hot. And I started becoming convinced that it had to do with um, leakage from the door. I thought for sure that there was leakage from the door, that there was, there was heat coming in from the door. There isn't. The three biggest sources of heat in this room is this thing. As soon as I put in the nuclear battery, the nuclear battery started just, uh, it just, it just started eating up all of, it started generating a lot of heat. And, unfortunately, the other thing that's a big, um, contributor to the heat are, are, is my two chip, um, airlock. Uh, the chips themselves, this whole setup, the, the, the housing and everything generates enormous amount of thermal uh, energy. And I can't have that for the kind of base that, uh, that I'm doing right now. If this was a normal playthrough, that would be fine because one air conditioner, one or two air conditioners would be able to deal with the heat. Um, in a test, two air conditioners were just about able to keep up with six doors, four or si three um, eh, consoles, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Because I was I was uh, testing different types of airlocks and and how they um, how they would warm up and things like that. Now, the very strange thing that I think is super strange is that the doors themselves generate heat. It's, it's not just the accoutrement in the thing. It's the doors themselves that generate heat. And the gas sensors generate heat. So everything in this airlock to automate it generates heat. I cannot live with heat in this playthrough. Um, because I have to subsist on whatever cooling effect I can get out of um, smelting ore. That means all of this has to go. Everything. Everything that I put in, that I worked on, that I thought uh, was a good idea, has to go. And I have to go and stick with basics. Because if I don't uh, stick with basics, um, then I'm going to be um, spending too much time uh, just cooling the place down, just maintaining um, a, a temperature where I can grow plants. Um, the only other thing that I can do is move everything um, that generates heat, like all these, all this, the the ICs and everything and the equipment that uh, has to stay on all the time into a shed and just leave it there. 
but that would mean I'd still have to expand. Everything else is is intermediate, intermediate, all, intermittent. All of the uh, the printers, even the uh, the 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 gas sorting, is all intermittent. The only thing that needs to be on all the time is this one AC, uh, the hydroponic thing, and that hydroponic light there. Those are the only things that need to be on all the time. Uh, even the computer needs to, should be off. The sorter is something that uh, um, now needs to be on because of the ogre that I put outside. But the ogre is fairly useless, and the um, uh, the heavy uh, drill uh, seems to work exceptionally well. So um, just probably going to be sticking with the heavy drill. Uh, from now on, but everything else, everything else needs to be ripped out. All of the, all of the hard work to try to make a modern base, it's it's just, um, it's just not going to work for this playthrough. The other thing that seems to, uh, and how these things seem to work with the APC, oh, everything is just right pissed off, is that uh, the amount of power going through it also affects, like, how, um, how much uh, thermal energy it, it generates. And everything was going through that one APC. So I'm just going to switch all of these switches off. Uh, that computer is going to go off. This can go off for now. This can go off. Uh, that needs to stay on because, well, stuff is happening to it. Um, I also need to check on the uh, solar panels because the solar panels have been hit by one or two storms, and that's not that's not good for what's happening. But everything, even this, even this uh, console, it's got to go. And we've already dropped a whole degree just by turning things off and just listen to how quiet it is it's it's nuts okay so we're going to get rid of all of that i'm going to get rid of the apc or at least put it outside or something uh, i think i'm going to put these walls back up because they're kind of nice to have And I'll, I'll do the bottom wall later. I also found out that you can repair your... Um, uh, your solar panels with uh, glass. Didn't know that. It's good to know. Okay, so we've got been, gone back down to a manual airlock. I put a um, insulated storage tank in the ground, upside down, connected to the um, the main filtration system, and I rerouted some of these things. So that's nice. Uh, what else am I going to get rid of here? Not much else needs to be ripped out right now, because everything else can be cycled on and off as uh, needs persist, but that door is the one that needs to go, like, right now. I also need to put um, a wall around, our uh, walls around the, um, the solar panels, because the solar panels are damaged. I think I may have lost at least one. 
So we want this to go. And we want it to go at the bottom. Okay, so that's routed properly. Oops. We turn that on. Turn that on. All right, we wait to turn that on. And I think I can solve the problem of the uh, of supplying and whatever to these guys by using flip flops, electronic flip flops, because you can set them to go one direction or the other. Uh, I need sheets. I need iron sheets, and I I think I need about ten or fifteen. This also needs to be recorded, recoded, uh, because it's it's not really at what I want it to be at in terms of usability. And I'm going to change that to 20 so I get less nuisance alarms. And now I need to take this apart. And I think I need... Yep. No. That's what I need. Uh, part of the reason I automated the... the airlock is because I kept... Um, hitting the switches incorrectly. Okay. And you... you little bastard. You can stop wasting my power. Okay, so... All of these can now go in... The vending machine. Uh, even though I may not sell them, I may just... You know, store them in there until... Needed later. Because all the chips and everything can still be run... Without the... Um, the thermal energy bothering me. Because I can just... Put them somewhere else, or put them in a vacuum, or, you know. You dick. There. Uh, maybe I'll leave the bottom without a frame, without stuff on it. There we go. Yeah, see? There's a... Jetpack on. A couple of dead... Um... A couple of dead solar panels. And these are kind of useless, so... I think I'm just going to let them blow around in the wind until they disintegrate into nothing. I'm probably going to regret doing that, but oh well. There. And this thing, I'll move to the front. Uh, even though I'm going to replace it with a with one of the big ones. I'll just move it right there for now. And I'm missing two panels. But... Life is life. Uh, maybe I should see if this is pointed the right way before I get too committed. Because it will cause my OCD to try to kill me. Or at least make me think I'm going to die. And for the record, I know I'm not going to die. But I mean, that's sort of how it feels when OCD hits. And you have that, that fear anxiety of it just not being correct. Maybe it's the fear of a parent coming to beat you because it's wrong. Or maybe it's some other uh, deeply rooted kind of superstitious kind of thing. Or maybe it's just purely neurological. I actually have no idea. In fact, 
since I've never really harmed myself, or it's and it's never, you know, interrupted my ability to function as a human being, my doctors over the years hesitated to actually diagnose me with OCD. I'm not washing my hands until I bleed. I'm not, you know, doing other counterproductive stuff or dangerous stuff or washing my hands. I already said that one. That's the only one that I know that's like, no, not the one that I have. I don't open and close doors the same number of times. I don't... I don't eat things in threes. I'm seriously affected by patterns. Interrupted patterns make me feel very unwell. But that also might have more to do with, like, Asperger's than... Or, sorry, Spectrum. Because, like, all the words that we used to describe things are now, like, verboten. I've been trying to think of a way to describe these sensations to somebody who doesn't have OCD in a way that can be relatable to the quote-unquote average person. And the only one I can think of is, I used to be a plumbing apprentice, which means I came in contact with the sewer and human feces more often than the average person. And something triggering your OCD is kind of like having to stick your face in a sewer pipe and smelling the sewer coming up to you, which doesn't smell like shit. It's not just feces. It's your kidneys and your liver getting rid of the medication that you've been taking and peeing them out. And the fat from pork drippings poured down the sink. Uh, and garbage disposals grinding up uh, uh, leftover smelly turkey and a rotting toilet paper and uh, bleach and bacteria and ammonia and all of those things com oh god and all of those things combining into one and blowing in your face and all you can do is just screw up your face and try to make your nostrils as small as possible and try to not hold your breath so much that you're going to pass out, but not breathe so deep that this organic slurry of the worst things that you're, that every single person in the city's body is trying to get rid of and flush down this hole is trying to claw its way into your, into your body and just gnawing at your eyeballs and your sinuses and the back of your throat and everything. And you just try to get the job done as quickly as possible and as accurately as possible so somebody else doesn't yell at you for not doing the job properly. That's what it feels like when something triggers your OCD. That's what it feels like when a YouTuber uh, insists on opening their video up on a complete mess of their video game where they've, they have crap everywhere. That's what it feels like when you're, when you're walking around Fallout 4 and you have debris and garbage everywhere that you can't clean up because it's part of the, of the, um, of the environment. That's what it feels like when you have a repeated pattern on a wall because somebody's put up wallpaper, but they put it up just slightly wrong so you can see where the where the two patterns don't meet properly and your mind fixates on that and it's like a blast of sewer gas hitting you in the face trying to get into your your nose and your eyeballs and this 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 demon is trying to get down your throat and at the same time it's getting in you are trying to crawl out of your own skin and your your own body is 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 ripping at your at your at your arms and your 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 guts and just crawling and 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 just wiggling their way to stop existing while this thing is is just staring you in the face and will not go away that's what ocd feels like and when people especially youtubers dismiss or make fun of people the quote unquote ocd crowd that's what you're doing to people and most of the time people who actually have ocd say nothing. They just leave. They just don't watch you again. Or they don't look at the screen while those things are happening, if they're a fan of yours. 
there are people who are just anal and want stuff, you know, the way they want stuff. And usually, and I'll have sympathy for those guys, usually those people are reliving a childhood trauma where a parent is actually coming to beat you because it's not done correctly. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, one less than I need. Great. And I'm not going to bother repairing them because now they're in a sealed environment. They don't need to be um, repaired that much. You, however, you don't exist anymore. So you take a lot of energy. You're kind of interesting, but you're also a pain in the ass. You don't go fast enough. You take up too much power. You're too slow. So... Bye-bye, birdie. Okay, so now this is all secure. And just making sure all of the panels are in glass. Let's inspect the sides now. I think that's everything out here moved and uh, sorted. Back inside through our manual lock once again. Okay, let's turn the sorter on. Although I won't need the sorter when I'm putting things in manually. Because I'll just keep things in my hand. And I'm going to turn that on. And turn that on. There. Okay, and these can go in the pouch. Here, this thing. Because I forgot I had this for some dumb reason. And what is the temperature? Temperature is 32 degrees, so uh, we are improving. We are improving. What else to, can I move or get rid of or um, beg, borrow, and steal? I don't think there's anything else. I think everything else is good for now. And I think once, um, once the silo is cleared, I'm going to remove that sorter, because the sorter is pretty much no longer needed. And what kind of gas do we have? 32.63 and 32.8. Now I do know that having all of these in the same... Um, space can can be problematic and I want this one too the top ones I'm gonna have them as radiators and these ones I'm gonna turn the other way around they seem to work slightly better when they're like not adjacent to one another you would think that having everything in one cell would be uh, better but it just doesn't seem to work out that way Lieutenant Hines is working away here. Don't need this sort of card anymore. We'll put the comms card back in there, because that's the more important thing. And we still need to move the, the port. I haven't forgotten about that. That is important. Okay, there's nothing there. All right. Um... One of the things I haven't I haven't worked out yet is how to get this gas anywhere else without like having huge like snakes of pipes everywhere. But I won't have to worry about it because it's a it's a large 
uh, container. So it's going to contain everything quite nicely. Uh, I should have put a pre-filter on this thing just to get rid of uh, uh, poison X because that's every everything has X off it. Everything has X coming off of it. Uh, but then I could have a secondary one that was separating volatiles and stuff. But I did not do that. Okay, this no longer needs to be on. Uh, this is automated back here too, but uh, with this chip, but it's not necessary at this point. And I think... I think we're back on track and I just need to go outside and mine. Oh, sorry. I needed that piece of glass because that piece of glass goes here. And I will pre-vacuum this out. So that when I go to actually use it, I won't need to do too much to it. There we go. Oh, we're also short on steel. Um, but I'm going to wait until I mine, because I can do like close to a kilo of steel at, all at once. And I kind of want to do that. Uh, this is here, right there, so that when I'm outside, I can reach in and grab it like that. Uh, and I should automate this uh, filtrate filter so that it'll um, it'll turn on when this pipe's got stuff in it, but that's not super necessary, I don't think. So let's mine and bring the temperature down a little bit more. I am prob I'm gonna eat. Oxygen critical. Not that critical. Uh, I'm gonna make more potato. Baked potato. And I don't think these go bad just sitting there. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I'm hoping. They don't convert carbon dioxide to oxygen if the light's not on. So, whatever on that front. Yep, okay, let's go mining. Hydration critical. Oh, Temperature high. for fuck's sakes. Oxygen low. Oxygen low. Oxygen critical. Like 10 seconds. Okay, let's see if I will smash my face in again. Fucker. Yay for avoiding death! Okay, so that's all queued up in there. And we'll turn this IC back on. And then we will turn that on. And I think that's all I have to do. I'm going to stuff myself. Uh, that's on. Okay, good. Now, unfortunately... Now, let's just... Nope. There we go. i stuff myself in here, and then we will just let the game ride. And no, I was absolutely not rushing because I had to go to the bathroom. How dare you say something like that? Okay, so nickel... I think... <laughs> I think nickel... No, it doesn't. So, what produces volatiles? Cobalt. And biomass. That's it. We're back down to 33 degrees. 
and it looks like all is well. Let's check to see if uh, there's any trader I want. Oh, mine right. Okay. I've been trying to automate this, 39. Uh, but it's pretty difficult. I've been trying to make like a hot and cold kind of uh, thing. 23 is close enough? Yeah, it's close enough. Okay, so let's turn these fuckers on. Land you. And turn you fuckers back off. Cool. So. I guess we just go out there now. Nothing else to do. And see what you have to sell. You have... Oxalite. That's always good. 18 oxalate. And... Water ice. That's spectacular. And I'm not going to really buy much else. What can I sell you, though? Uh, do you want scrap? I'll give you some scrap. Here, have some scrap. Oh, I have to pay you. Whatever. What do I have a lot of? I don't have a lot of anything. What do you want? Oh. Oh. Oh, look at the night vision goggles. Oh, we're making a shitload of night vision goggles. You're giving me all your money, bastard. All of it. All of it. Yeah. I'm going to take you for every dime. So, let's grab the water ice. Because that's the thing that's important to me. Waste tank caution. And I'm just going to pop the waste tank because... Who gives a happy, happy crap? Oh, I should wait till the, the gas clears. We'll... Nah. There we go. Thank you, shopping... Thank you for shopping the crazy gamer. Oh no, I'm the mad gamer. I'm also crazy, but, you know, we'll get to that later. What is this? Biomass. Ugh, it looks terrible. Super. Uh, and I still haven't made a way of just sticking it in there. So, let's just sneak it in there. Okay, so... Is that sorting properly? I guess it is. It's not sticking anywhere. Oh. I just spit one out. I didn't even know it did that. We got quite a bit of everything. So we are in very good shape. It's 32 degrees now. Stacker. Okay. Cool. That's it. Hmm. Guess I don't have as much as I thought I did. I still don't know how I'm going to process it. I don't know what it does. It might just be something that I throw away. But I'm not willing to uh, just give up on it. Cool. Now we're back down to 30 degrees. The world is right in... 
bright and cool again. We're going to have ourselves a nice baked potato with no butter or um, bacon or cheese or just basically starch. Mmm, starch. Yummy starch. Okay. Let's reroute. Oh, forgot to turn this off. Let's reroute this to that one. Yep, there we go. And that, uh, I, uh, uh, oops. Can I make the night vision goggles? This is the wrong printer. It's got to be the tool printer. And I don't know why it would have been the electronics printer, because it happens to be very electronic heavy, but whatever. And the fact of the matter is that most tools are fairly heavy on the electronic front. But we won't think about that too hard. Because progression, question mark? Okay. Match, make a match, make a make me a match. Make until you run dry, buddy. And we're done. And we ran out of Hastaloy. See? Oxygen critical. Let's go back outside. And may the fleecing commence. So, we'll get rid of this small battery. Uh, because of who the hell cares. And we will get rid of... Uh, night... No. Why is there no search on this thing? Night vision. Ooh, too much. So I got 7,000 from him. And I can't really get too much more. I can sell him sorter cards, but he doesn't really want that much for them. The night visions were the real one. Well, you give me 600 for the auger. I'll sell the integrated circuits, too. And the sorter card. I think that's it. Okay, you know what, buddy? Go away. Bye-bye. Oh, did I buy anything from him? Grand. Well, Lieutenant Hines, I got... 8,000 bucks. I think 8,000. Yeah, 8,290 bucks. Good haul, eh? Um, he wanted the night vision, and it was, it was good. I thought the night vision was complete shit, but whatever. Like, why does it have to flash? Whatever. So, I think that this has been a very good day. And I'm going to go take a nap in the uh, Crypto Sleep Casket. Um, hopefully I'll be able to see something over here while I'm in the Crypto Sleep Cloud. Bitch, a bunch of gimme there. Uh-huh.